What's up, guys? I wanted to welcome you to another episode of Surveying with Robert. Oh, so last time uh, we did TBC regions. So with the regions, we pulled the point cloud data out of uh, this project. Like the, I showed you how to pull out like um, the rafters in the uh, in the building. So um, I kind of went on with that, and I pulled. Uh, the floor out, the walls out, the inside wall, the outside wall. I pulled everything out of this uh, data set so that you guys could, um, I could show you how to take all this stuff and bring it into CAD. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do the cutting plane. So what I'm going to show you now is the how to take and get the footprint of the building uh, 2D and, and how to actually export that out and take it into AutoCAD. So let's jump on the computer real quick and I'll show you how it works. So, as you can see, here is the building. Um, I've just got it in plan view. Let's go up to view. Let's go up to 3D view. And if we look in 3D view, there's all the scan data. So, what I want to do is we're going to start coming over here and I'm going to start getting rid of things. So, let's get rid of the default. Get rid of the beams. Get rid of the ceiling. Let's get rid of the covered walkway. Divider. Duck one. Duck two, rid of the east canopy, entrance roof, and exterior lights. We're gonna leave the floor, we're gonna get rid of the ground. Get rid of the ground at the building, let's get rid of vegetation. Uh, we're gonna get rid of everything on the inside of the building for right now. Lights, north canopy. Let's pull down here a little bit and look. We've got uh, outside, outside, outside. Let's get rid of the pipes, poles and signs, power lines. Uh, we're gonna leave the rear sores. Let's get rid of the sign. Let's get rid of the south canopy. Let's get rid of the trash. Let's get rid of the unclassified and let's see what we have left. Looks like what we have left is just the building. Okay, so what we're looking at is the building and this is the um, colorized version of the building which um, personally I don't like to work in the colorized version. Uh, as you can see, I've stripped the canopies and stuff out the outside. So all we have right now is just a footprint of the building. So what we're gonna do, first thing I wanna show you is, let's go into point clouds. I like working in color-coded intensity. I can just tell more about what's going on. So let's look, this would actually be considered the inside east wall. So I just brought the inside east wall in. So I want you to look at this. As you can see, here's the outside wall, here's the inside wall. If we go into true color, you can actually see the photographs on the wall in true color so it's kind of clouded because we have the outside wall east wall turned on so we'll turn that off you can kind of see there's the inside so let's get rid of the inside for right now for what we're doing um, there's the outside wall okay so let's spin this thing around let's run back to color coded intensity Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually go and uh, I'm going to show you how to create the cutting plane and uh, how to draw the footprint of this building. So first thing we want to do is we want to define the cutting plane. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this one so I can show you how this works. Let's remove it. Let's create a new one and we're going to call it footprint. Footprint. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to get the position of it. Now what I need to do is go to my O snaps and make sure I'm on point. So I've got point and end point both clicked on. So if I go in here, highlight that, click on the floor somewhere. There we go. There's my cutting plane. So what we've done is we've created a cutting plane for the floor. So we went in, chose that elevation, that point and that elevation. We're creating a flat plane uh, across that floor. So basically it's floor level, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to look at, I'm actually going to have to raise it up and I'll tell you why here in a second, but um, when we go to look at this cutting plane uh, and how it works. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to jump in. 
So since we've created that, we're going to close this out and we're going to go into the uh, cutting plane view. So keep up with me here. So I'm going to close that out. So now what I want to do is I want to go to cutting plane view. So now it's going to give me a split view. So you can see right now it's on top of brick. Let's go to footprint is where we want to be at. There's a footprint in the floor. Now I told you I was going to have to raise this up because there was a vegetation along the side of this wall right there at the ground. So with that vegetation at the wall, I don't have good cutting plane in there. So we're going to raise it up about a foot and a half or so. I'm going to raise it up two foot, show you what happens, and I'm going to take it down to about 1.75. So uh, let's do this. I want to take this thing out and I want to go to a float view. And just to show you, it popped up here on the other screen. So here's a float view. So I've got this on another screen, so I'm going to throw it over here to the other screen, show you what it looks like. Okay, so here it is. So now then, like I told you, let's go, well not 200 feet, let's go two feet. So I'm gonna say offset two feet. So what happens is I leave the floor and I come up two feet. Well, if you'll notice at two feet, I'm actually getting into the windows. So if we look over here on this side, you can see that cutting plane is actually getting me into the bottom of the windows. You look at it there if I can get the mouse where I need it but basically that's what happens I'm getting into the bottom of the windows so let's back it down just a little bit 1.75 now I'm out of the windows and I'm down below now my cutting plane thickness what this is is actually the thickness of the cutting plane so if I make it 0.2 it's just gonna make my, my, my cutting plane that much thicker so what we're going to do is we're going to jump over here to CAD, we're going to go to Line String. And I was already playing with this while ago, so I called it Footprint. Layer name, I can go in, I can say New Layer, and I just called it Footprint. So let's get out of that. All this stuff, we're going to say OK. So what's going to happen now is it's going to set me up so I can draw lines. So let's just start drawing a line around this thing. So as I zoom in, let my graphics card catch up with me here. I'm gonna pick that point. I'm gonna grab out here on the end of that. that point. Computer's lagging a little bit recording all these screens. And don't get too excited about all the points that you see down here because you got to remember first of all we're running about two tenths thick and there's brick and corrugation in there so we're down into brick. So what we're seeing is different things inside the brick and we're just below the bottom of the windows with this. So I'm going to run over here, pick a point out here somewhere. And you can be about as picky with this you want to. Now what I'm gonna do here is just for good measures, I'm going to jump over here. Now when I bring this over to CAD, I would probably fix it, but I'm gonna show you why um, you would probably want to go ahead and straighten that up because it will actually should when we're done give us actually give us a square footage of this whole thing so there we go we've got the footprint okay so there's the footprint now the footprints over here on the other side as well when we go back to this other screen you're gonna see that um, that we actually have it drawn in here so let's close this screen out now then, let's jump back over here and let's take a look and see what's going on. So as you can see, you can see that green line going through about a foot and uh, foot 1.75 above the floor is where that line's at. So we've got a footprint in here. So if I go in now and I say, I get rid of all these walls, 
get rid of that rear storage. Let's go ahead and get rid of that floor. You can see now I've got this. So what can I do with this? Well, I can actually take this and select it. I can go to Home, Export. I can come over here to DWG Exporter. It's already got one selected, which is that. I can tell it where to go. Tell them I'll send out DWG and how I'm gonna export it. And then I'd say Export, then I can bring it right over into CAD. It'd be a, a DWG file. So obviously I would probably go in here and cut a lot of things out so we could actually see it. So here's the neat thing about this. So if I go in here, let me close this out. If I go in here and go to properties, it's kind of cool because it's giving me my minimum elevation, my maximum elevation. It's giving me my length, but it's also giving me my square footage. So it tells me it's 3,927 square foot all the way around it. Now keep in mind, that I just cut across here at the corner. So actually it's a polyline that goes all the way around. So that's how it's calculating the square footage. So um, great way to uh, to use this tool to, you go and scan the project, you can pick up curb, you can cut it with curb, you can do all kinds of stuff, and then you can export that, all those that line work out as a DWG. So instead of spending all that time going around there manually getting all the shots, you can scan it. Now the thing about scanning it is, I got the power lines, the power poles, the transformers. There's all kinds of data in here. This is a rich data set with tons of stuff that you would have never shot if you were out there with a conventional total station, even if you were out there DR or with a robot or with your GPS, you would not have picked up as much data as you can with this SS10. So this thing is is just an unbelievable tool in my mind. And I believe it's gonna change the way we do design surveys because of the amount of data you can pick up in a short amount of time. And you're gonna learn how to draft in Trumbull Business Center and how to get that data back out to CAD. So what I'm gonna do in the next video is I'm actually gonna show you how to take those point clouds and we're gonna take this line work that we created and we're gonna bring all that stuff back out into uh, AutoCAD and I'm gonna show you a couple of cool tools you can play with in AutoCAD that, um, that might help you. Um, I'm not big on modeling. I don't think the surveyor's job is really to model. I think the surveyor's job is to measure. So it really kind of depends on how deep you want to go with this stuff. You can export this out of SketchUp. You can build 3D models. You can export out to CAD, build 3D models. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. So great tool. Um, and guys, as always, be safe out there. Don't hurt yourself. Don't cut your leg off the machete. And I'll see you guys in the next video.